Hey guys, Mangrel here. Today we've got our hands on the replacement camera cables from Cadex for the Vista or for the DJI Air unit. These cables come in two lengths, eight centimeters or 12 centimeters. The 12 centimeter is the size of the original DJI Air unit camera cable or the original Cadex Vista camera cable. Here we've got the camera cable along with the camera back plate. These two come set together because you can't get this through yourself. In order to replace the camera cable on the original DJI Air unit, you're gonna need two tools, a 1.5 millimeter hex driver and a small flathead screwdriver. We start off by opening these two screws on the Air unit, which exposes the cable back here. There's two little tabs here. You want to get on these, these two little tabs and you want to just work them out slowly. So a little bit on either side. There you go. Now it's out. You pull this piece out here. Now we'll continue on the other side. We're going to remove these two screws from the back of the camera. And very slowly you want to Pull this out and we have the same kind of connector on this side so very similarly we want to get underneath here and just pop it out slowly so work it a little bit on either side there you go now this has been removed so one thing to bear in mind is these two back plates are slightly different. You can see that on the original DJI one, it's very flat. Whereas on the Cadex Vista one, you have these little ribs. And these little ribs are actually what keep the cable in installed in this. So over here on this camera, we have this foam pad. So what you need to actually do is you need to remove this piece of foam. This will actually hold this piece down by itself. Now that we've removed our piece of foam from here, we're going to go ahead and install this cable. So very simply, just line up the cable and push either side in. That side's in, that side's in. There's a little noticeable click when it gets in there. Now you want to make sure this connector is on the left-hand side. This does have an up and down, so on the left-hand side. And when you look at the back of this plate, there's an arrow. We want the arrow to be pointing up because that ensures those little ribs on the inside are pointing in the right direction. Okay, so now this is pointing up. We got that in and we can go ahead and reinstall our screws. So probably a good idea to put a little bit of Loctite on these screws. They do go into metal. Okay, the camera side is done. Now we do exactly the same thing on the air unit side. So we're just going to line it up. Okay. And just tuck this wire inside here. Gently tuck it inside. Okay. And now we can reinstall this top cover. Oh, there you have it, your shortened DGI air unit camera cable. The installation on the Cadex Vista is a little bit easier in some ways and a little bit more difficult in other ways. So very similarly, we're going to start by removing the back plate of the camera. So we'll remove these two screws. Now this back plate is a little bit of a tighter fit, so you may have to wiggle a little bit and just pull it out very gently. And what you'll realize here is that the Vista camera already has that piece of foam removed. So the piece of foam that we had to remove from our uh, DJI Air unit camera is not here already. So very similarly, we'll just pop this out. 
the little tab on either side. Let's we'll get underneath that little tiny tab. There we go. Now we'll set the camera aside and we'll move on to the more difficult part of the Vista. So the Vista has the camera cable coming out of the side here. Okay. Now we want to remove this small piece of metal covering here. So we'll just uh, get that out of the way. And very similarly, it's going to have two little notches on the side here. So we want to get those two little notches out. That side's out. And that side's out. Okay. Now we'll start by putting this side in first, because this is the part that is a little bit more difficult. So now that we have this piece in, we'll grab this piece, which holds the cable down. And we'll start by sticking this piece up into the little knob and then bring it around and we'll reinstall the screw. And here's where you want to put a little tiny bit of Loctite on the screw and get it in there. And before I tighten it down, I like to put a little bit of downward pressure on this clamp. And then now I tighten it down. So that was the difficult part. That part is now complete. And then we move on to the camera portion. And on the camera portion, again, you want this on the left side. We'll take this, we'll line it up, we'll push it in. And with that connector on the left, we're looking for the up arrow. And now that we have our up arrow, there we go. So our arrow is pointing up, connect on the left. Now we can reinstall the screws. And again, a little tiny bit of Loctite because they do go into metal. And your quad does vibrate quite a bit. So you wanna make sure that these do not work themselves out. And there you have it. Your Cadex Vista now has a shorter cable. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Again, we have a lot of new content in the works, so make sure you stay tuned for those.